Welcome to Industrial Sage News, I'm Juliana White. Texas, an industry-leading supply chain management software company, recently launched at Promat, an innovative digital twin 3D heat map. The industry's first no-code, out-of-the-box 3D representation of the warehouse. And joining us from Promat to share more about this latest innovation and dive deeper into digital twins is Guy Corton, Texas's Vice President of Industry and Advanced Technology. Great, thanks for having me and really looking forward to the conversation about digital twins. You're welcome, Guy, and we appreciate you taking just a few minutes to speak with us. So first of all, Guy, what is a digital twin? Absolutely. A digital twin is the digital representation of the physical supply chain. So when we think about all the devices, all the IoT-enabled, RFID, everything we have out there that is throwing off a digital representation of something physical, in aggregate, that becomes a digital twin. So it's really just a reflection of what's happening in the physical world in the digital world. And how does a digital twin impact supply chains and more specifically, the warehouse? The digital twin in supply chain is really fascinating. Why? Because all of a sudden now we can replicate what's happening in the supply chain in a digital environment. Why is that important? It's important because now all of a sudden we can start monitoring and looking for things or efficiencies we can gain within our supply chain see how things are moving within our supply chain, whether it's manufacturing or warehousing or distribution or the end customer. And in the warehouse in particular, what we're seeing is that the digital twin allows us to start replicating what's happening within the four walls of the warehouse in a digital environment and allow us to start looking at how we do things more efficiently, how we can do things better, how we can do things differently and test it in the digital environment and then replicate it in the physical environment and more importantly, we can start monitoring it in a real-time basis through the digital twin. That is fascinating. And how does a digital twin impact labor? You know, labor is always that big, big question we have in the warehouse, right? We, there's a shortage of labor, we need more labor, and also when we have labor, how do we make sure it's working at peak efficiency? So the digital twin, when it comes to labor, really allows us to have a much more finite measure of the labor within the warehouse and how they're doing their job. How efficient are they? Where are their shortcomings? Where can I reposition labor to get my job done better? Because hey, John picks a certain way and Mary picks another way, so maybe we need to reposition them in the warehouse. That digital twin will allow me to measure that, to see what's happening on the ground through the digital twin. So final question, Guy, where does fulfillment go from here with digital twins? I think it's really exciting when it comes to fulfillment and the digital twin. All of a sudden, if you think about fulfillment, if I can pull the digital twin from the warehouse through last mile, all of a sudden I have an end-to-end -end replication of what's happening when it comes to fulfillment. And all of us know, right, we get very excited when we place an order and all of a sudden a carrier picks it up and says, hey, your order's on the way, click here to track it. I can click and I can see a map and I can track the package where it is at every stage. Now picture if I could start doing that in a wider scope picture if I could do that where I, as the carrier or the warehouse provider or the retailer or the distributor, could start seeing exactly, well, when has this item been ordered? When's it been picked? When's it being taken to takeaway? When's it been packaged? When's it on the truck, etc.? If I could all of a sudden replicate that and measure it and also understand or determine if there's going to be shortcomings and I can rebalance how I fulfill things, I think it's really exciting when it comes to fulfillment that ability to have a more end-to-end -end view of how things are going in real time through the digital twin. Thank you, Guy, for sharing your insights about digital twins and their emergence in helping solve some of the challenges facing the industry today. Thanks again for having me and really great conversation on the digital twin. And please do go to our website, texas.com, to learn more about what we're doing in this space. And I am personally inviting you to our user conference the fall of this year in Arizona, where we're going to have more conversations around the digital twin, supply chain, the warehouse, and fulfillment. Thank you. Good speaking with you, Guy. Well, that's all for today. I'm Juliana White, and thanks again for watching Industrial Sage News.